Watch out, SpaceX, because Australia is back in the space race. Turn it up, everyone. <laughs> Launching its very first locally designed, built and powered rocket in more than 40 years. Take a look at this. Off like a rocket, wasn't it? <laughs> For more, we're joined by the CEO and founder behind the launch, Blake Nicholas. That's why we're number one in some markets <laughs> in regional Australia. Because you just can't <laughs> buy that, can you? From Jim Boomba in Queensland, Blake, nice to see you, my friend. We're in space. We're back in the race. Hey, guys. We're back in the race, absolutely. Tell us about the rocket, um, you know, how you got it built and how fast it went and all the, the stats. We love this stuff. Yeah, sure. This is a stepping stone rocket and what we call a suborbital rocket. So it's go, it went up, came back on a parachute so we could get all the data from it. Uh, it travelled nearly two times the speed of sound as it took off uh, and went to oh. a bit over 30,000 feet, uh, which is about the height of a commercial airliner. Now, the important thing here is it got there in just under 30 seconds, where a normal plane would get, take about 30 minutes to get there. Whoa. This is pretty cool. So, so... We didn't go into space, but is that the aim, is to sort of to, to build on this rocket and the, for us to get there? Yeah, absolutely. We have a number of launches coming up over the coming months and we'll build on that technology uh, to put a sovereign rocket into space next year. But importantly, this rocket carried a payload for a customer of ours, Bitscore, and they're creating digital technology, digital security to secure everyday devices. And with this uh, whole process, we have the federal government that are calling out by 2030, they want to grow the space industry yeah. to $12 billion and 20,000 jobs. And that's so important that they have had the foresight to uh, you know, want to do this. This is clearly the fastest growing industry in the world. Mm. Mm. And by them having that foresight, we're playing our part as a pivotal role in building towards that space capability once again from Australia. So this is a stepping stone towards that. I love the idea of sending all those those advertisers, Mojo, into space and letting them explode. See what happens <laughs> out there. It's getting busy. Yeah, it is getting busy out there. I can't wait to see what happens. Uh, you're a very smart man, and, and it's great technology. And just to start, we love it. Thank you so much for being with us, Jim Boomer, Queensland. What a place. Thank you. Thanks, Blake. I did that once. Flew into space. No, no, I, I put a Mentos in a Coke. Deodorant can on a fire. Are, we go, are you done with the <laughs> space? I think you need to get on the get with the program. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's the future, the Brooke. Yeah. It's the future. The future is here. I, all I was looking at then were the chemtrails. <laughs> <laughs> and, chemtrails. and what does a chemtrail look like? Well, you would know you're a lizard person. Yeah. <laughs> the reptilians control the chemtrails, Carl. Conspiracy. Been sprayed. <laughs> Space conspiracy. Gee, gee you've got to be you got to be sharp to keep up with this banter. <laughs> All right, let's get to the entertainment news. <laughs>